There is no rotoscoping tool in DaVinci Resolve. Wait, I d don't quit out just yet, all right? I know it sucks, don't get me wrong, but you know what else sucks? Paying for Adobe After Effects. Actually, it's not that bad, it's pretty good software. So if I want to mask somebody out in DaVinci Resolve, what do I actually have to do? Welcome to Unknown, by the way. I kind of forgot the W. Polygon masking. Similar to After Effects, we can use a mask to roto out our subject. It's called a polygon node, not a masking tool or a pen tool or whatever. So let's pull up a clip. What? Oh, yeah, we got one. In DaVinci Fusion, start by adding a polygon node and masking out the rough shape of your subject. Enable the timeline editor so you can see your keyframes. Keyframe forward and repeat. You guys should all know the process from here. This is how you can use an alpha mask to cut something out. First method is to simply put your mask into the input of your base footage. Bam, done. Just like that. If you need to invert the selection, you can basically just invert it using the polygon mask. Now, I personally don't like this method. A better way is to add a merge node, connect your footage into the yellow input, aka the background layer, and your polygon mask to the green input, aka the foreground layer. Go into the merge settings and change the type to mask. To invert, all you have to do is change it to stencil. Plus, you can feather the edges by either going into the polygon mask itself, or you can do what I like to do and add in the blur just before the input of your base footage. Tracking and masking. I'm going to use another clip as an example. Now this is probably the fastest method for masking in DaVinci Resolve. Just got to make sure that you have a clear tracking point with a bit of contrast. And if you don't have that, we're going straight back to tip number one. Yay! Start by adding a tracker node and then input your base footage. Reposition the tracker to where you want. You should all be able to do this because you know After Effects. Go into the tracker panel and start tracking forward. Adjust any keyframes that are off on the timeline. Add in a transform node and right click on the position keyframe. Go to connect, tracker path, and then position. Make sure you're at frame one and then you can add in a polygon mask. Connect that bad boy to the transform input. Create and then move that mask into the right position. Add in a merge node and connect our original footage and our transform plus polygon node. As you learn in tip one, change the merge node to mask and then change the blend so you can see the background and adjust your mask. Now your mask is tracked. Woohoo! But we haven't tracked the scale, so we need to go to the end keyframe and then adjust our mask one more time and then adjust in between if we need to. Mask paint. Let's find another clip to use as an example. Found a clip. Now this method is probably best for small items like a, an ear or an elbow, something that needs to be masked over a couple frames. Add in a mask paint node. Paint a line and then go to the next frame and then guess what? You're gonna paint that same line again. If you've ever used MS Paint, you'll know what to do. Difference here. A difference here will use two clips to find the difference between those clips and then mask that out. I'm not the best at explaining, I use difference. This is usually done by using your footage and then a clean plate. I will add that this generally works with stationary shots, but moving shots can get really complicated real fast. Add in the difference key up, input your foreground footage and your background clean plate footage. From here we can adjust the high and the low values until we're happy with the key. Again, this is very, very rough, so I only use it sparingly. Now this effect only works if there's a clear difference between the brightness levels in a shot. For example, if you're shooting in front of a wall or a bright sky, that may do the trick. Add in a luma key and select the range controls to get closer to your desired key. Now hopefully guys, this video has helped you. If it has, guys, make sure that you like, subscribe. What the? What is that? What are these bars? <laughs> what? No, 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 please. Please. <laughs>